uh, in this uh, experiment, uh, I'm using four RFID tags uh, uh, and uh, uh, assigning uh, the UID number for all tags. And I'll show you how to read the RFID tag and uh, how to assign the student name to each RFID tag and uh, how to make the student as present in a serial monitor that I'm going to teach you now. So in this experiment, um, our, uh, the model used is RC522 and it is connected to Node MCU as follows. RC522 VCC is connected to Node MCU 3.3 volts. Ground is connected to ground pin of Node MCU. RST pin of uh, RC522 is connected to D1 pin of uh, Node MCU. SDA serial data. And this is connected to uh, uh, D2 pin of node MCU. Uh, serial clock is connected to D5 pin of node MCU. Master in slave out, it is connected to D6 because we are using SPI protocol uh, here. Uh, SPI stands for serial peripheral interface protocol. And uh, master in slave out, it is connected to D6 pin. And master out slave in, it is connected to D7. You should connect in this manner only. Then only we will get the uh, reading. So in this experiment, uh, I did one mistake I, uh, in the connection. So I took two to three hours uh, to rectify it. So for that purpose, I'm telling you. So you make the connection as it is. Then uh, uh, before executing the program, you should install the uh, library file. Uh, so you go to sketch in Arduino ID, go to sketch and uh, uh, click on uh, include library and click on manage library and search for MFRC 522 and then install MFRC 522 library by GitHub community. From this you, you should install. For this I got the result. And uh, in the code, uh, after getting the uh, UID number of uh, RFID tag, you have to replace that ID number in your code. Uh, be, uh, how to get the ID number? That uh, video uh, link I have already uh, given in the description box with the actual ID, ID of RFID tag you want to authorize. Okay. Then uh, please make sure that you have made the correct connection as described and install the library via Arduino or library manager and then upload the code. So this is the code. <clears throat> Here we have uh, we are using SPI header file and MFRC 522. And just now we installed the library that header file also we are installing. And uh, since four tags I have used, I got these ID numbers uh, by executing that program. Uh, so you just replace, uh, write the ID numbers here in this code. And you should execute one uh, uh, function that is mark attendance in order to uh, print the student name um, is present. And here I am checking the uh, student ID. Uh, if the tag I, UID is equal to student one tag, then print student name is Sunaina and mark attendance Sunaina is present. In the same way uh, for student two, student three and student four. So if you bring other than these four uh, RFID tags, if you bring the fifth one, the, the fifth one I have not initialized here and it will print as unknown tag. Since I don't have the fifth one, I'm not able to show you the unknown tag and, uh, on serial monitor. So this is the program. And so after uh, writing the program, you upload the program. In this experiment, I'm using a RFID reader, uh, RC522 uh, with node MCU and how to make the connection uh, between uh, RC522 and Node MCU, I, I have already explained. And in this experiment, I am using uh, four RFID tags. Two are white in color and uh, two are like a keychain, uh, blue blue color. A uh, total four uh, RFID tags I am using. And all for all, uh, each tag, I have given uh, assigned a student name. 
and uh, I have explained in the program how to assign uh, the uh, UID number to a student that I have already explained. Now let us check the uh, output. Uh, after uploading program to your node MCU, uh, one care you should take, uh, there is IRQ pin in uh, uh, RFID reader, you should not connect that uh, IRQ pin to the node MCU and that care you should take. So after uploading the program, uh, now I will show you the serial monitor. Um, it is asking you to place your RFID tag near the reader. Now I will take one RFID card or a tag and I will tap to the reader. One tap is enough. For that tag I have given the name as Sashwini and it is giving me as Sashwini is present. We will check one more uh, tag. Now I will take the uh, second tag that is blue in color. I will take this and just tap it here. Okay. So we will check the output. For the first tag it gave me the result as Sashwini is present and for the second tag it is giving Aishwarya as a present because for the second tag I have given the name as Aishwarya. In the similar way we can check for the third uh, tag and fourth one also this one. For the uh, next two tags I got uh, Sunaina is present and Ashwini is present. So in this way we can use uh, RFID reader and RFID tags on, uh, uh, with node MCU.